we've had another delivery and I know you guys love deliveries. So, walk this way. It's an old joke. So, we got a whole bunch of stuff here from Howtech. All the goodies. Let's have a look. We have sensors aplenty, fuel oil, wastegate pressure, rotary trim module, module, which is good. This is something we've been looking for for a little bit. So we've got a couple trim modules here. And then these little fascia panels, which then work with these rotary dials. The dials go into the panels. So we've got one here for Trolvo, and one here for the Lexan. The Trolvo, what we're gonna do is set it up so we stage we have adjustable boost and adjustable two-step RPM. And we'll be able to tailor that to the start line conditions of the day. So if the start line's a little bit loose, we can uh, turn the two-step down, you know, maybe run a little bit loose, less boost. Or if the start line's particularly good, send it on full send. And uh, yeah, it should, should launch like a dream. So we've got, also got some more sensors, air temp sensor, uh, fuel oil wastegate again, rotor trim module, that's an important one, I'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, <coughs> fluid pressure and temperature, uh, boost control port solenoid, three port solenoid for boost control. So that one's for Lexan, because the uh, control bow has already got one. Rotary trim, rotary trim for our little gauges, like I said. This one, flex fuel, E85 baby. So obviously we can set it up to run E85 all the time, which is great, but on a car like our Lexan, which is gonna be built for drag challenge, out on the road, you don't always find E85 where you want it. So you set up a flex fuel sensor, and that means that the car, once it's tuned for it, will automatically read the E85 contact uh, content or lack of and adjust the tune correspondingly. So if you're running around on 98 octane, the car will pull the timing out, maybe run a bit, bit less boost, whatever. Or if it sees you've got full E85, it'll just go all the boost, all the timing, and away we go. Ah. One well semi-terminated loom. It's a loom and fuse box. Obviously, it's not fully terminated because otherwise there'd be a whole bunch more plugs and stuff. So obviously, we've got a bit of work ahead of us there. But we've got a fuse box there to deal with. Obviously, our plugs for our ECU, all that sort of stuff. Dual band, wide band controller, so two channel I should say, in terms of like WB2, so because it's a, a V8, so we need one for each collector. Here's the magic. Elite 2500. That's right, it's the big boy. So it means we can run basically whatever we want. Individual coil packs, drive-by wire throttle, any way we want to set it up, this baby will handle it all. So, yeah, that is awesome. And then, a dash. The Lexan's getting a dash. So one of Haltech's IC7 dashes, you've seen it in the Trollbo, these things are fantastic. We've saved engines with these things because all the information is right there at the fingertip. You know, don't need a million autometer gauges in your car. One of these, set up right, that is the way. That is the dream. <sighs> so good. So now somehow we're gonna have, we'll have to work out a way of mounting it in the, uh, the Lexan Commodore Dash. But lots of goodies there. We'll get that all happening very soon. So obviously, a lot of people are thirsting for this Lexan. 
They all want it to happen. I want it to happen. But I'm not pulling cars apart until we fix the ones that are already broken. We need to make them go again. Superman, I want it running again. Trollbo, I want it running again. I want them running and down off the hoist before I pull the engine out of that thing. And, well, you know, I like it that it runs. I like it that we can just jump in it and start it. In fact, is the battery connected? Let's have a look. No, it is not. It'll fall down on my head. Yes, it is. Sounds awesome. Mechanically, the engine is so quiet. It's just the exhaust system's a bit uh, hey going, and this thing sounds loud and all. But it does sound awesome. Can't wait till we, uh, you know, get it in the Lexus. Lazy at the moment. Still, it's going to be awesome. All right. So, like I said, that is a project for future days. I'd like to get it started now if I could. Right. Let's fix these things, make them run. Plus MX5. Got to do some stuff with that. Got an exciting idea to use that for coming up soon. Uh, but we want to get its new turbo on, get its dump pipe down underneath so it's not up in the breeze because uh, Andrew and IHRA don't like it up there in the middle. So we're going to send the exhaust downwards, get this thing teched because, yeah, the bosses are a big fan of that. And uh, once that's all teched and ready to go, we can send this in. Take it out, have some fun, run it down a quarter. We've got some other plans, which I'm not going to reveal just yet, but uh, yeah, it's a bit spicy. So anyway, things are going to happen. And of course, you're going to see it all on future episodes of Carnage. <laughs>